Welcome back to Tinker Tailor Sweater Side. This is Amber Lee with day two of my 15 days of Balloween. I can't wait to show you how to make this adorable little treat box. For this particular one, I used Rich Razzleberry cardstock, my envelope punch board, the Into the Woods uh, Designer Series paper, the Haunt You Later stamp set. All of these items can be found in the Holiday 2015 Stampin' Up! catalog. For my sample, I punched a two inch scallop circle from Old Olive cardstock, a one and three eighths inch circle from Into the Woods DSP with the tangerine tango leaves showing. I stamped the kitty in basic black archival ink and colored it in with markers. And then I used Rich Razzleberry stamped off once so that it's a lighter color than the normal Rich Razzleberry that you see here. And that is from the stamp set I got in my September paper pumpkin pack. This is the little treat box. It's really easy to make. Slide it open and it holds two fun size snicker bars. And then you can just slip that right back in. So this uses the envelope punch board and I'm gonna show you how it's done. You start with a 5x5 five five piece of paper and using the envelope punch board you place your cardstock down at the 2 inch mark. You're going to punch. Let me get my little scoring tool out. You're going to punch and you're going to score it. Then you're going to move it over so that this is on the three inch mark. You're going to punch again, score again. You're going to do that all the way around your paper. You're going to line up at the first groove and punch and score. And line it up at the second groove and punch and then score all the way around until you have a shape that looks like this. What I've done is I've used the other side of my punch board to round off these corners. Let me show you using the orange cardstock that I have here, the tangerine tango I should say. You just put it in the opposite side of your board, punch it, and now it's rounded instead of pointy. Alright, so here we have it. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've just folded on all of the score lines so that it's ready to go. So now what you can do is you can take your scissors and cut off these little corners. Sometimes you can leave the corners in if you don't mind uh, taping them down. I'm just going to take them out completely to make it easier and a little less bulky for the uh, the candy. All right, all right. So now I'm just going to put some tear tape on. So then I put some tear tape on this. And I close it up, leaving one end open, so I'll be able to put the candy inside. Now let's do the embellishment. I've punched out my two inch scallop circle and added epoxy dots from the Brights collection as well as some tangerine tango baker's twine. Now I'm going to add my circle to the center. First I'm going to put some snail on the back. So now I'm going to take my cute little cat from the Haunt You Later stamp set. I'm going to take a dimensional dot, cut it in half. I'm going to put half on the head and half on the behind of the guinea. Here. 
And I'm just going to pop it in the middle of the... like so. Now, before I add it to the box, I'm going to choose one of the sayings that I've punched out already. Um, I really like the Eat Me If You Dare. I just think that's really cute. It kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland for some reason. So I think I'm just going to use that one. And I'm going to cut a little off here. And I really like the little banner version. This is an easy way to just do a little banner. Cut up in the center and then cut from corner corner to center, corner to center, we have a little flag. And I'm just going to use some snail for this. Don't need very much. See where it's going to sit, so I'm going to do it like this. Ready? All right, here we go. I'm just going to put a little snail in the back. Then you're going to just kind of center it onto the back of the box. Pop that down. Now that your box is finished, you can take your Snickers, fit them right in the back, and close the lid. Now either you can put the lid in to the box, like I did with the first one, or you could just put a dot on the back and close it shut, but I kind of like doing it this way. So there you have two versions of another cute little treat box for Halloween.